Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I want to do a update video to a previous one that I did. Um, it was the crystal clear uh, protector for the Nintendo Switch. Now I contacted the company and was going to set up a return after the review. Um, they promptly emailed me and said, hey look, we are coming out with the revised version of that case and that they would send it to me. So. Um, I have the original one here, and I'll show you what the difference are between this one and the new revised one. So the revised one takes care of all my issues that I had with the previous version, and definitely can recommend this to you now. Um, it is a really nice alternative to, um, you know, some other cases that are out there, rubber, um, you know, uh, things that go over the Joy-Cons and whatnot. So I figured I'd get into this, um, just show you what the differences are between the two, and I'll link my previous video uh, in the description if you want to see that, although I don't know that there's much need for it now because this is the updated version. So if you do order these off Amazon, I would imagine that you'll get the, the updated version. So uh, let's get into it. So um, first I'll show you what the original one was. Basically, the only thing that's different is the actual Joy-Con covers themselves. Um, and, okay. Here, let's do it like this. Okay, so if you can see there, one has like a, an oval uh, opening there and the other one uh, does not. So what that does is, the little button from your Joy-Con actually sits down inside of that oval and you can actually push it now with your finger without needing to have any sort of um, tool or anything like that. With the older version, this version here, you need to have like a pen or something kind of sharp to push down through that hole there and actually release the Joy-Con from the, from the switch if you wanted to take the Joy-Cons off. With this newer version now, um, it actually allows you to, like I said, put it on and off without needing any tools or anything like that. So basically, it just pops on there. I always put the top in first and then just snap it down in. But you can see you can actually push the button now with your finger and um, get this thing on and off quite easily. So there it is on. So all you need to do is just press the back like you normally would and it slides right off. With the older version, you can't do that. So... Um, yeah, I really like this thing. I think it's a great kit. And uh, if you're in the market for something like this to protect your Switch, this would be a great idea. Now, one nice thing about this is that the there's a back plate to it. Now, the back plate is actually goes on the body of the Switch. And it goes on really easy. Um, you can't you can't use this with the dock so you have to pop this off if you want to slide it into the home dock um, but one nice thing about this is is I know a lot of the switches are actually starting to bend uh, because they're just poor poorly manufactured this will help prevent some of that bending um, it adds a little structure to it and you can see I'm putting some pressure on it there and it is a little difficult to bend, you know, obviously the back part here because it's a little more open. But mainly where I've been seeing uh, bending is on the um, on the top part of this. And this is quite strong. So this could help your switch from actually uh, bending. So if you want to install this, all you need to do is just I sit it on the top first. And then I just pop it on just like that. Make sure it slid into place. And then that's it. Really nice kit. Um, you can see there you still have the uh, kickstand still operates you know you can still get to that uh, the charge cable has got a really nice open cut in it there and um, you can still get to the volume power on off buttons and also your uh, cartridge you know slot is there as well uh, it does have cuts cuts for the um, exhaust vents and the intake so uh, you don't have to worry about your switch overheating or anything like that um, and all the buttons work nicely. There is little bump outs on the bottom of the Joy-Cons that actually provide like some sort of additional grip. Uh, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable holding on. Um, it's nice, I like it. I think it's worth the $10 now. 
Um, I didn't before because of that little issue with the not being able to remove the Joy-Cons, but um, very nice now, very easy. Uh, you don't even need fingernails or anything uh, to get these things on and off, and they come off really easy. So that's it. Nice, quick, short video today. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, they followed through on their promise. I was a little skeptical as to whether they were going to send me the updated version or not, or if I had to pay for it or whatever. But as you can see here, I have the old version. Um, they didn't ask me to send them back, and um, he did send me the new ones. So. Uh, good company so far. I, I definitely, um, I definitely will believe in them. A decent review on uh, on Amazon, and that's it, guys. Any questions? Leave them down below. Again, I'll have the previous um, video linked in the description, and also put a link to Amazon uh, if you do want to buy these. Uh, again, they're around ten dollars. I have Amazon Prime, so I got them in about a day and a half, two days, uh, and, and that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.